Hello guys, Flanker is here. Today I will show you the walkthrough of two quest lines that will allow you to get two Lazarus tuning orbs that are required to enter the Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition. Also, I will share some tips and tricks that might be helpful if you want to complete both quest lines solo. Lazarus orbs are not easy to craft and they have a one week cooldown, so do not miss the opportunity to get two of them for free. The first line is pretty short and relatively easy. In order to start it, find the NPC Lace and Reese in the western outpost of Shattered Mountain and take the quest that is called Pushing Back. He will ask you to fight the Corrupted in two fortresses nearby. Let's do it. On arrival, make sure to place a camp nearby so that you won't have to run here again in case if something will go wrong. You'll have to kill 15 mobs, search 5 loot containers and place 2 bombs in the spots that are highlighted with blue. It shouldn't be hard, just make sure to not aggro any mobs at the same time. If your gear is not really good or you face any difficulties with this part, consider using boosts to increase the damage against the Corrupted. You can buy or craft powerful or infused Corrupted coatings that provide a 13 or 15% bonus damage against the Corrupted to your active weapon. If you have houses, make sure to place a Corrupted Combat Trophy in each house. Even 3 minor trophies will give you 9% bonus damage in total, which is pretty good. In addition to that, consider using Honing Stones of any grade. And keep in mind that all these bonuses stack together. Once you're finished with the first port, it's time to move to the second one. We'll have to do exactly the same thing, so if you manage to complete the tasks at the first port, then you'll have no problems here. After that, we return back to Lace and Reese to finish the first quest and start the second one that is called Guardian Secret. We're gonna have to move to Lonely Climb and fight the skeletons this time. So if you have any difficulties with this part, consider using Ancient Coatings and Ancient Combat Trophies. In this part, we will have to kill 25 mobs, collect 8 Baytillus Lockstones and kill the miniboss of this area. It shouldn't be hard as there are many crawling mobs that are easy to kill. Although the Lockstones can be found all over the area, I had no problems with collecting 8 of them. The miniboss is located in the center of the area. I managed to die once because I got stuck in the rocks, but in general, it's not hard at all to kill him solo. All you have to do is to dodge his ranged attacks and that's about it. Don't forget to loot a chest here and let's go back to Lace and Reese. After we complete this quest, he gives us the third one, sends to Lazarus Expedition and gives a Lazarus Tuning Orb. Congratulations, the easiest part is done. Now we're heading to Reekwater to start the second quest line. Right before that, I would really appreciate if you leave a like to this video and subscribe for more guides. The NPC that we are looking for is Aulus Fulvius. Trust me, you're gonna hate this guy for the quest that he gives you. So take the first one and move to the ruins nearby. In general, in this questline we will be fighting Angry Earth, Lost and Ancient mobs, so I hope you remember. Coatings, Trophies, Honing Stones. Honestly, I don't think you will enjoy being here, mostly because of all these tentacles, archers and explosive mobs. It is still possible to complete this quest solo, but I would recommend you to come here with someone else. On arrival here, you will see three quest marks on the map. All you have to do is to interact with the quest items on those marks. After you've done it, return to Reekwater and talk to NPC. Complete the first quest and start the second one. It's time to move to Skyview Repose now. On arrival, keep moving to the mark on your map. You have to find a note in the tower, it's gonna be on your left after you enter it. After that, we move to the second mark, kill the miniboss called Surgeon, and collect the second quest item from his dead body that is now dead two times. To complete the last step of this quest, return to the tower and interact with the ancient door. Keep moving upstairs and kill all the mobs on your way. Try not to aggro all of them at the same time because there's gonna be many, so be careful. Once you reach the top, interact with the ancient map and that's about it. Now it's time to move back to Reekwater. Talk to NPC, complete the second quest and start the third one. Move to the quest mark on your map and this time make sure you place a camp nearby because this part might be tough. Enter the cave and move to the quest mark. In the end you will see two mobs that are doing something strange. Kill them and then interact with ancient rubble. After you do it there will be four waves of mobs that you have to kill. It might not be easy, the ghosts and their stun is really annoying. They managed to kill me once, probably because a harvesting set is not the best choice for this quest. Once you kill a plank splitter, this part is gonna be over, which means that we have to return back to Aulus Fulvius. 
complete the third quest and take the next one. There is actually a spirit shrine near the location that you need so you can get there quickly. This quest is similar to the first one in this quest line. You have to interact with three items that will be marked on the map when you get here. The only difference is that there are less tentacles around and the mobs are not that hard to kill. Surprisingly, after you interact with all three items, there won't be any extra objectives so this part is relatively easy to complete. Return to NPC in Rickwater and take the next quest. This time we move to the location called The Climb. You may use the Spirit Shrine from the previous quest to save some time. On arrival, make sure to place a camp as this is not gonna be an easy part. Keep moving to the quest mark on the map. You don't really have to kill the mobs here, just run and then climb something where they will not be able to reach you to lose their aggro. Once you come closer to the mark, you will see the NPC Roland Abington and that's the guy that we are looking for. Talk to him, complete the quest, and he will give you the next one. Now, this part might be a little bit confusing. The objective is to provide a distraction, but what exactly does it mean? So, we should enter the hole that is near the NPC first. After that, we move downstairs to the lower level. Once you see two skeletons with spears and shields, that's the place that we are looking for. First, we have to kill the mobs, then we activate the ancient device right next to them, and this is when the fun begins. There will be multiple waves of mobs and there is gonna be a mini boss in the end. It might not be easy to kill all of them solo, but I was lucky. Some random guy appeared right when I was killing the boss and made this process a little bit easier. Once you kill the boss, return to Reekwater. We complete the quest number 6 and take the next one. NPC sends us to Lazarus Expedition, which means that he just gave us a Lazarus Tuning Orb. Congratulations! If this video was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more guides. I'm Flanker, and I wish you luck in Eternum.